The St. Raphael Catholic sub-parish is located at Takulab village at the foot of the Toma ridges in East New Britain province. It is one of many other mainline churches scattered in other hamlets in the Toma area. But what's more significant about the church is that it was built by the Takula people two years after the end of the Second World War. And after seven decades, the church remained an iconic structure in this community of more than 2,000 people. Yesterday, the Takula people gathered to celebrate the existence of the church and unveiled a plaque in memory of the first catechists and the sisters who built the church. Rafael Turnamur is one of the few members of the church who still lives to tell the story of how the church was built after the war. material, so long 1960. People have been uh, changing this uh, bush material. Na people have been working on the house lot to some permanent building. East New Britain province remained a Catholic dominated province. The first missionaries who arrived brought with them civilization. They helped mold, shape, and build small communities born together by the church. Not only that, but a combination between the colonial government and churches helped provide a sense of rule amongst the people during the early days. They were the government, they were the public services, they provided services when there wasn't any Waigani. Even they say Waigani today, the work of churches keeps outperforming the government. Now you may look in some new level of money come up because long a passing belong harim talk long all this all people belong this area yet. The Takulab Church gives a small picture of how churches not only preaches the gospel but how it played an important role in social and nation building. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.